Hey guys, what's up? Um, this will be a quick short video. Um, installing the Imposter uh, wheel covers. Basically, it's a cheap way to make your wheels black, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's uh, jump right into the unboxing. And so first look, hopefully they are, uh, hopefully they're nice. I mean, they come really nicely packaged with like uh, instructions and whatnot. Um, all of these uh, are right on top. Make sure you grab one, two, three, four. And let's take one of these out. Oh, I guess they're all coming out. Oh yeah, I see. So those are pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, they come in plastic, obviously. Wow, those are, I won't lie, a lot nicer than I, uh, I had anticipated. Um, I read reviews about these, and hopefully you guys can see these. But these little, uh, I don't know if I need to put these little like lock tabs. I guess like that's how what makes them different than hubcaps. You know how like the hubcaps obviously yes they go on your wheel, but like how they have that metal ring. Well these kind of use those so like they really lock on there. Um these like I was talking about just a minute ago, these little plastic tabs. They also have nice little protectors here. So basically you wanna come and wipe down all your stuff when wheels have i mean this is a used car i don't know if it's up yep, right there so it has some imperfection whatnot so i don't really care about it you guys can definitely put like cleaner or a polish if you like want to clean your wheels we used to have snow and the roads are still very wet hence why my car is filthy um but I'm basically just cleaning where the skin is gonna go. I'm not trying to get a deep clean. Yes, I'm using a microfiber cloth because I don't have anything else right now. Um, but yeah, so you just wanna repeat this step um, on all four tires. And then you wanna take your setter cap off. Once you have that, you wanna ooh, align this with that. So I actually missed a very important step. One take these goes right into your center cap. You want to twist them over almost as if you're putting this back in. So take it like this. So it'll lock in just like that. And then what you want to do, then you want to line up this as straight as can be. And then if you put a hubcap on. And you take where you just put that new thing in, you put this right in there, and then you can either do a Phillips screwdriver or a 12 mil socket. And then don't freaking, you don't want to go to town in these, but a nice good turn. And then this literally, like, look at my car. I'm not won't come off and then you like i said take off that uh that metal ring and then and bam just like that you got black wheels and now just repeat figured it wouldn't hurt to show how to take this metal thing off because it can be kind of a pain you'll see that they're split right there so what you want to do is just push in and kind of pull up and then she'll come right out and then you have it like that it's just without it um there you go also thought i'd give you guys a little update about the goby ladder you guys are familiar with it um i contacted the company and um it's actually really good news because uh i don't know if you guys caught it um i got my rocky road outfitters roof rack on marketplace and I got this, all for $300. No mounting plates though, which I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Gobi, but they'll go in these two holes on this, the rear hatch, and then up here, uh, not inside obviously. Uh, 
yeah, so I reach out to them to see if they just sold the plates and I'm in luck, so I have to order those up. Um, yeah, so here's how the wheels look. Let's uh, take a look from afar. I think those look amazing. I will link them in the uh, description.